death and the grave. And remember Allah Azza wa you will stand in front of him one day. This cures weakness of Iman, trust me. Um, I started giving lectures about the grave recently and the more I give lectures on the grave, the more I hate everything I own. The more I despise this dunya, the more I'm satisfied with pretty much anything that, that, that comes in front of my path. Because what you realize is that you're going to be put in the ground and you're not taking any of it with you. The only thing, the only currency of the akhirah is deeds. When you reach that grave, it's almost as if there's a sign there that nothing beyond this point except amal al-salih. Nothing behind there except, except the good deeds that you've done or the bad deeds that you have done. That's the only thing you can take beyond that point. So dragging all this dunya around with you, it's not going to be yours anymore. We must remember death. The Prophet ﷺ said, remember often the destroyer of pleasures. Remember often the destroyer of pleasures. And what is the destroyer of pleasures? Death. Death. Death is going to destroy all that which you covered of this life. When you finally are at your death, you're going to take one final look at this world and unfortunately, unfortunately, it's going to be the moment most of us realize how feeble this dunya is when we're about to leave it. When we're taking our last look at this world, we will realize this world is nothing, nothing. We will realize how feeble it is. But the people who are blessed are people who realize that before death. The Prophet ﷺ said about this dunya, and this is how we're going to finish insha'Allah. He said about this world that once he was walking with his companions, and there was a, a dead carcass on the side of the road that was deformed. A dead, deformed carcass on the side of the road. And he picked it up. It had little ears, it was deformed. He picked it up. And he said, which one of you will buy this for me for a dinar? Meaning, who would buy this for me for a pound? They said, Ya Rasulullah, <laughs> we wouldn't even take it if you gave it to us for free. We would not even take this dead, stinking, deformed carcass from you if it was free. He said, then know that the world in everything it contains, all its glitz and glamour and gold and wealth and status and money and fame and fortune. He said, all of it to Allah is more despised than this carcass is despised in your eyes. It, it, it means nothing. On the day of judgment, Allah Azza wa Jal is going to roll it all up. The heavens and the earth, Allah is going to roll it up and hold it in His hand and say, we're the kings of the earth today. The people who used to fight each other and kill each other and strive and do so much injustice over this silly dunya, where are you today? When I've rolled all of this up like it's nothing, do you not realize it was nothing? Unfortunately, we won't realize that fact until we don't have it anymore. And you know the one thing that I guarantee you, and I think uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the companion who said this, I believe it's Imam Malik, but let me not attribute it to the wrong person. One of our salaf said um, that by Allah, Every single son of Adam will regret every single moment they did not spend remembering Allah. Every moment you did not spend remembering Allah, you will truly despise it and regret it. So we have to remember that. We have to remember that we're leaving this dunya. We can't take any of it with us. And um, we will regret. We will regret. Allah says in the Quran, and I finish with this, and let this not be any of us. When the angel of death comes to them, they cry out, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb. Irji'oon, send me back. Irji'oon, send me back. Why? Why do they want to go back? Do they want to go back to, 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 to uh, see their family? Do they want to go? No. La'ali amila saliha fi ma tarakt. So that I can do, go do some good with that which I left behind. So that that which I left behind, I can go back and get it and do some good with it. Let us not be of those people, insha'Allah ta'ala. Let us do the good that we have while it's in front of us. And let us avoid the evil that is in front of us while we're here. Let's take advantage of the things that Allah has given us to purify ourselves and to purify our hearts. And I ask Allah Azza wa to give us the tawfiq, the ability to purify that which is inside of us. Because if we can make the heart good, then the rest can be good, insha'Allah ta'ala.